Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 11th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out some numeric functions. So I have a file opened up in my text editor, it's called numbers2.php and uh, on line number 6 I have the opening PHP tag, on line number 13 I have the closing PHP tag and between the opening and closing tags I have some uh, echo statements and uh, I have displayed text using these echo statements and then I have uh, the concatenation operator on all statements and then I've used uh, some numeric functions to perform certain operations and uh, then I also have uh, supplemented each statement with the uh, you know uh, the break tag passed in as a string to the echo statement uh, to make sure that the result of each of these operations is on a new line right so the first function that I have in this file is the abs function or the absolute function and this function tells you the distance of a number from zero on the number line so you know if you pass uh, a negative number to it, it's still going to tell you the positive distance that the number uh, has from zero. So if it is on the right of the number line, it's going to display a positive value. If it's on the left, it's going to display a positive value. So in a way, it's going to calculate the modulus of uh, the number for you. So the absolute value of negative 450 should be 450. And uh, then on line number eight, I have uh, the power function. And this function is used to calculate the power of a number raised to another another number right so the first argument has to be the base and in this case it's 2 and the second argument has to be the power to which you want it to be raised so let's say you want to calculate 2 to the power 10 you would use the function in this way pow the name of the power function and then within parentheses you'll first type in 2 that's the base and next you'll type in the power right then on line number 9 I have the random function and it's called rand in PHP and uh, this one uh, doesn't take in any argument you know it's just a set of empty parentheses followed uh, you know I mean the word rand followed by a set of empty parentheses and uh, it would generate some random whole number value for you on line number 10 I have the rand function in a modified way so this function takes in two arguments the first one is uh, the lower limit and the second one is the upper limit and between these two numbers a random value would be generated and then on line number 11 we have the fmod function and this one tells you the uh, remainder of a division operation so you want to divide 27 by 5 and you want to check out the result of the uh, the remainder of the result of the division operation on line number 12 I have the sqrt function short form for square root and this one uh, is used to calculate square root of numbers and I have passed 225 as a value to it so the square root of 225 is 15 that's what we should see so I'll save the file and uh, this is how the file looks like in the browser the absolute value of negative 450 is 450 the result of the power operation 2 raised to the power 10 is 1024 and uh, you know a random number generated using the rand function is 252 and a random number within the range 30 and 45 I guess it was yup is uh, 42 and then the remainder of the division operation uh, 25 or 27 by 27 5 I guess it was yep so that is 2 and the square root of 225 is 15 so if I would refresh this page you know the absolute value won't change the result of the power operation won't change the remainder fmod function returns is still going to be the same the output of the square root function is still going to be the same but we are going to see different numbers probably for these two uh, sentences so we see now 32089 and 35 and if I would refresh it again I would see different set of numbers you know 43 and 55 94 it's not that uh, every time you refresh your browser you're going to see a different number you know that's very probable but uh, if you're using the rand function with the uh, very little range between the lower limit and the upper limit then it's also possible that you see the same number when you refresh your page and uh, the thing here is that you don't know what number you're going to get you cannot predict so unless you're using the rand function with just two numbers in the range you know in that case you can predict with 50 percent accuracy but anyway uh, these are all the numeric functions that i wanted to discuss uh, with you guys in this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to check out uh, some more numeric functions maybe and uh, uh, that's it for now uh, I'll see you in the next video. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, take care